Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can download CMU emulator on your computer. So it's a very simple. All you have to do is simply open your browser then go to this website. The link will be in the description box below. Now after you inside the website just me scroll down and, and click the download button for the latest stable version which is currently 1.26.2 f so as you can see this is also the recommended one but if you want to download the experimental version you can also do that but most of the times the experimental version have a lot of bugs and crashes so i would suggest you to download the stable version now what you have to do is just simply click on it then choose a location and just simply click on save now as you can see a zip file has been downloaded now after you have downloaded the cmu you have to download a cmu hook so for that go to this website again the link will be in the description so over here in the cmu hook scroll down and in the versions just simply select the latest version which is over here this one just simply click on it and then download this into the same location where you downloaded cmu so click on save and now the cmu hook is also downloaded now go to that location which is desktop in my case now just simply extract the cmu file first just simply extract it to a folder now after this folder has been extracted take the cmu hook zip and drag it and drop it inside the folder then just simply go inside the folder and again and as you can see there is another cmu folder over here so just simply drag and drop the cmu hook inside this folder as well now open this folder <clears throat> now extract the content of cmu hook in this folder now as you can see the cmu hook has been extracted now what you have to do is right click on cmu over here then go to properties then go to compatibility and compatibility click on run this program as administrator and apply then okay now open this click on yes now as you can see new folder has been created over here so over here first thing that you have to do is if you're installing the for the first time um, uh, give the path for mlc01 which is over here so just simply go to browse desktop or wherever you have saved it then CMU, then again CMU, then MLC01. Double click it, then click on select folder. Just do that. Now, just simply go ahead and save the game path wherever you have kept your CMU games. So click on browse. Then go to the location where you have all of your games. Then click on select folder. Now after doing that, click on download community graphics pack that will make your game graphics much better. So download it. Click on yes. Now click on download latest community graphics packs and as you can see it is now updated. Now over here choose the game that you have and also want to have the latest graphic update for that game. Just simply choose the game like Lego Batman. Just simply click on that game. Click on update over here it will copy here. So do that. Now after you're done with that click on next. Now over here what I will do is just simply check automatically check the update. Now it will keep my CMU up to date every time. Then comes configure input. So click on it. So now if you use controller you can do the setting of your controller over here so first is select time related controller go, i will go with vu gamepad then you can also add a name to your profile let's say p1 and click on save then over here just simply add every single key for every single action on your controller if you are using one Then after that, just simply click on close over here. Now the CMU game launcher should appear. Now over here, what you have to do now is just simply go to file and load game. If you have any games installed and then just simply click on open and all the games on in your game folder will appear over here. And if you have by any chance missed adding the game files, <clears throat> the game folder, go to option, then go to general settings. 
and over here add your game path manually by clicking on add then the path now after doing that go to graphics over here i will choose vulcan or you can also go with opengl if you want to then choose your graphics card over here now in the upscale filter i will choose bilinear downscale again bilinear and after that come to audio and in tv devices choose your speakers then gamepad again choose the speaker then comes overlay if you want to change anything over here you can do it now after doing all of that this will close the option and then double click on your game if you have one and your game will start so that's it and thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and take care